week we are focusing on number 10. This is your number 10. It's a two digit number, one and zero together, 10. So we're gonna count with our fingers first. Uh, if you remember our song, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. The way that we can um, show 10. So this is what I have and I'm gonna be grouping by 10. You notice in the center I have my number 10. One and zero, 10. So I place it in here and I'm gonna count. I have rocks. You don't have to have rocks if you don't want to. You can get any objects, any items that you can find at home. So I have rocks. So you count. 10, you have to count 10, and I'm gonna make my groups by um, 10. So you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So I have my first group of 10 rocks. And I'm going to do another one. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have two groups of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So you notice I have ten rocks in here, ten and ten. I'm gonna see if I have enough for ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and that's how you group by tens. Make sure you counting one by one. Your fingers with your fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys. I have Play-Doh with me. I'm trying to get it out so we can practice um, molding with Play-Doh. And I'm going to show you number 10. So you get your Play-Doh. Make sure you wash your hands before you handle the Play-Doh and after you're done playing with the Play-Doh. So you're going to put number one. You, with the small piece, you just do this. Look. So you start and you roll it. So you can represent your number one. Press. You have one. You get a small piece. Do the same thing. You put it in here. You have to shape it like an oval shape to do your number zero. Keep it close. See? Ten. Then you still have Play-Doh. You can continue uh, forming um, the one and zero to put ten, or you can do, you can count ten. And just be one. Two. Three, four, five, hi Coco, six, seven, eight, 
can make two more than one made ten, right? Nine and ten. <laughs> yeah, I had enough. So I'm representing ten objects and this is my number ten. And I have a piggy bank. Do you have a piggy bank at home? Maybe a Spider-Man, a unicorn. What do you have? I have a piggy bank. And we're gonna count to 10. So I have pennies. You can look around the house or ask mom or dad. And I'm gonna count 10 and I'm gonna put it in my piggy bank. Okay, you wanna count with me? We count together and say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, that one doesn't want to go in, nine, and ten. Now you have ten pennies in your piggy bank. You can practice that at home. You could do it in your piggy band. If you don't have one, you can use a cup or a jar and just place them in there and do the same thing by counting one by one. Like one, two, three, four, five, and continue until you get to 10. Cool? All right, guys, look, I found something fun to do. We're gonna be counting and developing our fine motor skills. We're gonna make our small muscles, our thumb and our index as strong. So we can have a pretty handwriting and you can write your name and your numbers very pretty. So remember, you only allow to use your thumb and your index. Don't try to do this. You do the whole hand, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use thumb and end it. And you're gonna count. You go one, I'm gonna put it there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. And then you can continue your practice. You can even go back and put it back in there. Say, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, Nueve. And if I can get the last one out, it will be 10. Practice at home.